Awe, awe everyone and welcome to this first Death Clash episode for Imperator Rome. We are back here where we belong because yep. we get to witness not only the carnage, oh. the carnage on a brand new game. Yes, it's going to be a beautiful mess. Yeah. So we have no fewer than 27? Correct. 27 Correct. people across the known oh, world. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And uh, we have the privilege, which we share with all of you at home, to observe what happens Indeed. across the world here. Uh, there, there's so much to cover, but fortunately we have the time. And, yes, we uh, have quite some time right there. I think uh, the players are really eager to get into it. Let's take a look a yeah. bit at the players yeah. first. Uh, we, we have the game uh, paused at the moment. Everyone's just setting up before we unpause and let the, yep. carnage, uh, the carnage begin. So players across the world, I think we'll, we'll dip into them more in detail yes. uh, as, we, as we go along. We're currently observing uh, SPQR. I, I, I'm not familiar with that nation. I don't know. Like seems, seems an Eagle, odd one to me. Stuff. Uh, but yes, we've got uh, three players in good old Britannia here. We've got uh, CB, Black Ninja, and Sir Rogers. Indeed. Quite a few across Gaul and Iberia. And of course, we've got uh, Gorion in Carthage. Indeed, our Carthage. Dear tech ah, that, lead. That, uh, that sparks a few memories there. Yeah, yes. the, the tech lead there, no less. Indeed, for, indeed. Uh, for Project uh, Imperator which means they'll probably have a few things to say about the player in Rome. That is Kaiser Johan himself. Yes. Now, if you're familiar with our previous dev clashes, and why would you not be? Kaiser Johan, he's, he's kind of good at the game, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, he is, he is, he is. I can see the chat saying, Awe, 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 Awe. Oh, yes. Uh, Aves for days is what we have around there. Yep. Uh, a pretty popular nation that we have just to the north of Kaiser is uh, the Boy Nation. Indeed. And quite a few people have had their eyes on that. And we have uh, Hilie. Hilie? Seems, uh, seems kind of Swedish to me there. It the, is the a name. Swedish player indeed. Uh, but we are we are playing with some smoldering hot code today. I yes, think this was hot off the see. press about uh, 24 hours ago. Yep. So that means it's more than likely you're going to see things that differ from the uh, the final product. Yep. And uh, that's that's just how we play around here. I mean, we we could wait and just make sure everything's yeah. all uh, all ready to rock and roll, but we thought, no, we want to share the experience with you as soon as we can. Damn straight. Uh, moving along, we got Sidestep over in Armenia. Indeed. Uh, really funny reason why they ended up in Armenia. Oh man, uh, we've Somebody's got war, at war, war. war for Rome already. Oh, the Kaiser but, uh, is already at war. But they, they had asked for another country. I can't remember what it was, but I just read it as Armenia. And so they got Armenia. I think, think, was, I think uh, you were there at the time. Yes, as well. I, I was there when we were trying to. Okay, to right. Decide. Rome is wasting no times and just only enemies. Boom, ramming into Etruria yeah, and hoping going to straight conquer. for Etruria. Damn right? straight. Now he he's got the game down to a mm -hmm, fine art. He's mm -hmm. already spreading out his armies for uh, for occupations, but he's got the bulk of his forces up north. Very smart move, dividing yeah. into small stack and keeping yeah, one big. Yeah, but then it, Etruria is bringing their armies mm -hmm, together mm -hmm, and are marching mm -hmm. in against Legion Two, Legion Two led by Publius Cornelius, Cornelius Arvina. Arvina. Uh, look at that, he's got eight marshal as Oof, well. That's good. So uh, people are moving in. Oh yeah, and. Uh, so we can see the events that he he gets as well. And but he, he's bringing enough of an army that yep. I think uh, I think Etruria's maybe rethinking this one a wee bit. Okay, but now now the Kaiser's gone in, now the fight and he's going for the kill. My, oh, he's, yeah. uh, he came out of that and boom, barely victorious. with a scratch. There we go. Took him right down. There we go. A proper start for Kaiser Johan so he far. He ca captured some enemies there as well. Uh, he also has his uh, his subjects. So you know the vassal swarm. Yeah, Rome. Rome's going for it from the very start. I would not be surprised if we see a somewhat larger. Uh, Rome before too long. I was talking a bit with Blondie before the stream and actually the Kaiser within four hours had managed to nearly con con conquer actually all of Italy. Ooh, ooh. So there you go. This is a in promising four hours. That, that's just two sessions. Yes, but, uh, just two dep sessions. Depends if he was doing that in, uh, on the old Speed 3 or not. But as we as we um, observe Rome, like we can see the events that he gets, we can mm -hmm, see the actions mm -hmm. that he takes. 
Um, but uh, that's the thing about the Kaiser, he never disappoints with bringing oh, the action never, never from the disappoint. very start. For sure, for sure. Uh, he, you know, he looks against every odds and just thinks, yeah, I, I can take that, no and problem. And he's just moving, sieging, bringing yeah, and, slaves and, and, Yeah, there we go. Bam! From, from Velshir, he's already captured a slave and taken it back to glorious Roma. Mm. So if you haven't been following the, uh, the development of Imperator, first of all, shame on you. Uh, <laughs> secondly... Pop system here in uh, in Imperator, right? Yep. Uh, you have four different kinds of pops. Your population in cities. You have the the glorious citizens, right? In in a nutshell, they'll bring you your research. Right. Indeed. You'll, you'll need them to get your researching done. You have the freemen. You can essentially think of them as your your muscle, your yes. your manpower for your armies. You want quite a few of those tribesmen. You know, not too great if you're going to be civilized, like Rome probably will try to yeah. be. But if you are someone like Glorious Caledonia, you can squeeze quite a bit more out of your tribes, their money exactly. and manpower. And then, of course, my favorite, the slaves. The slaves, right? bringing the cash in. Yeah, they, they are your cash output. Mm -hmm. They'll make people happy. And uh, you can also move them around cheaper than anyone else. Yes, so, exactly. Uh, go out there, loot your slaves, um, and make your own cities prosper. Because we have a number of trophies that we'll be giving out. Yes, we will this. have a few of them. Now, we'll have the usual first, second, and third. There is, yep. a, there is a score for everybody, as we can see up the top right. Uh, but we have three additional trophies. Yes, indeed. And one of them, you. You at home. I mean you, right? You there sitting you there. You get to decide. You'll be deciding on this mm -hmm. uh, through each session. So, uh, And this will be best warmonger, actually. Yeah. So the person that for you is the best conqueror of all, you will get to vote for them. The first three will get a certain amount of points. The first one will get five points, the second one three points, and the third one one point. So we, we don't want to just bundle it all at the end and just ask who, who's your yes. favorite, because not everyone's going to be around for the session. So exactly. that's the fourth trophy, say. Yes. We have a couple more. Uh, one will be voted for internally, and that is who is the most backstabby individual. Ah, we're, yes. we're looking into seeing if we can get a custom trophy that it, that is just like dagger in the a back. dagger in the back. Oh Feels my god, fitting I for would the period. love it. Oh yes. Uh, so we'll be asking our players, you know, who who could you not trust? Oh right. yes, the least trustworthy person. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a good trophy. And, and this there, will be submitted at the last session. Yeah, yeah, that one we were waiting yes. for the end there. But there's one final one that we're going to, to check in yes. trophy-wise. Uh, and that city. is, yes, the reason I was thinking that was because of the, the slaves moving about, but yes, you, you bulk yourself up to have the biggest city in the game, Yep. and uh, you'll get a trophy for that as well. Okay, check this out, he's, he's capturing so many people oh, uh, yes. in this war, and uh, he'll be able to do with them as he sees fit. And so I, what is that? What may does that I mean? say that the tyranny of Kaiser Yuan is only at four, so that means that he hasn't... <laughs> he has a lot life. of tyranny to come. Oh, so, yeah. so, for example, he's got a couple of uh, people in prison, prison here. Uh, Volesis Numitius and Postumus, almost like Postumus. Uh, there's a whole bunch of things you could do uh, to oh these boy, people. Oh boy, oh boy, Is it time for the flogging, oh the no, executioning? Please. No, right. not the flogging, not now, again. It's not, it's not something we can do here as observers, but uh, yeah. the Kaiser can decide. Oh but my, I, oh my. I have a personal favorite of what you can you can do here, and that's seizing their property. If they have the money, get that cash. You can make it your money. But of course, that's a bit of a tyrannical thing to do, mm -hmm. dare I say. Mm -hmm. uh, great start for the Kaiser. Not not seeing a whole lot oh, else going on. What do we have here? Armenia. Armenia. Ooh, Armenia. Yeah, they they're off to start as well. So let's see what they're up to. Oh, right, they, they want to go north. Mm -hmm. Perhaps they were just a little bit intimidated by the Seleucid Empire? I, I, I don't know. know. I mean, Come they, on, the Armenians can take... Where's our Armenians in the chat oh, my, my, to my. show your love here, right? You could take down the Seleucids. No I mean, problem, right? To be fair, there's not only the Seleucid problem, but there's the Phrygian problem right there. Oh, yeah. I mean, they're, they're surrounded by some pretty, uh, pretty big players in the yep. region, but they've gone for Iberia, right? Maybe not where I remember Iberia no, being. Not, not the same but, Iberia. But uh, that's, that's why we have an achievement for them, uh, Armenia or uh, Iberia. We haven't really touched on Africa oh, yet, yes. but if we go over to our players here, we have the infamous D-Note over in Egypt. Indeed. And the man who strikes from the shadows, Blondie. Yes. Funnily enough, again over here in Eastern Africa, but uh, playing as Kush. Kush. Hmm. 
Now, let's remind ourselves who won the Best Newcomer Award before. Because I, I think if you check the records, it was it a certain was OMFG Mr. Blondie. Blondie. Damn straight. So, do you think Egypt has much to fear against the likes of Kush? Ah, from what I've heard before, again, it's just rumours, but uh, D-Note and Mr. Blondie were looking to strike an alliance and a deal to get rid of Future. I think that would work in uh, Blondie's uh, favour here, because Egypt's pretty huge. 1,800 yes. pots. Oof. Right, that's a Damn lot straight. of people at their command. Loads of peeps. Whereas Kush have just the guts of 500. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, oh, okay. And Rome's just grown themselves quite a bit already up at 700. Where's Etruria? Pops. There was an Etruria there once. There's but no I more rather Etruria. think oh, Rome has decided wow. they'd be better off existing within the Roman bosom as opposed to being just some oh, dang. scandalous independent country. So there we go, Rome's got quite an appetite and they decided to sate it by going north. And I see the Aves in uh, chat. Are we? Let it let it flow. Are There's no point sir? no point trying to bring it down. So Damn. here we go. Rome's uh, they've already started bordering Boy. Thankfully for Boy, there's impassable terrain here, so they'll they'll need to go through uh, these guys, who, who do we? Who do I we think have little here? boy is gonna be in big trouble Pisai, facing Kaiser. Pisai. Rome needs to be sacked, says Kurt <laughs> Yosef. <laughs> oh, sacked man. and salted. I wonder if that's what the Carthaginians oh, are trying my, to plot oh, up right my, now. Oh, the Carthaginians themselves, they're they're enjoying a war. Who are they at war with? Uh, uh, Massilia and. Mauritania. I think this works out pretty great if I leave it to you to say the nations. Oh, no, I please just, don't trust me on that, just, Jake. Uh, well, I mean, I've, I've already got a reputation for how I say things. So. Yeah, uh, but no, fine. if we visualize that, here we go. It looks like they want to not just have their little toe holds across the top. They, they want to take uh, the full connection here. Yeah, I think there are a few juicy provinces there, so... Uh, they'll, they'll be going for Best a try, get them now. Try, to try to unite it. And there we go, uh, Rome throwing more people into his prison. Mm-hmm. Should we take a look at Spain? I mean, Spain was also... Yeah, so... Ooh, so Mr. 400. Do we, have, do we have changes here? Mr. 400, is that what you call him? Oh, well, back during the Grand Aslan, I mean. Probably a few people from the chat will remember that. Our own Philip Sir, Fir, Sir Beer is currently expanding slowly but surely to the east. Sieging three provinces, so that's pretty, pretty good. Yeah, uh, there's a bit more to come, but I don't think oh, I'll have much go. problem Bam. taking it over. So who, who's this poor hapless sod that he's gobbling up here? Lus it's Lu somebody in Lusitania, Taluria. Yes, Taluria. There we go. This is part of Taluria, but occupied by Opidania. Oh, nom, nom, nom. So uh, the, uh, the tribal chief of Taluria here is probably not too happy with the state of affairs. Yep. Their ten druidic pops are... Uh, probably soon to become part of Serbier's yes. fledgling empire. Uh, whilst Egladil, what are they up to? Are they enjoying any wars of their own right now? Uh, yeah, yes, I think they, they are. They seem oh, to be helping out there. They are helping. They've wow, got an alliance wow. with a few others, but including Okdania. And there we go. It's over. It is time to do the, something about... Ooh, oh, oh what is he so going he, to do? Here's, a, here's an event that you get. Uh, it seems like they're, they're clicking through it faster. We can read it here. But when you take over... Uh, um, a new country, right? You decide what happens to the families exactly. there, right? Exactly. And this really speaks to me because, yes, yeah, you can bring them in and do whatever you want. Maybe you want to give them jobs because you have particularly you qualified people in the country you take over. Uh, maybe you want to throw them in the prison because, hey, they got a lot of money and that should be your money. Yeah. And sometimes you just want to kill well, them all. That's, that's not really the gesture, it's more like that kind of gesture because it's crucifying well depends so well. depends where you are right i mean what, what do we what do we have here if we check out the religion we've we got all these druids or the uh yeah, Iberics. i think the option is still crucifixion but to be fair you also need to be very careful because if you imprison the f the family leaders you need also to be careful because they still bear some influence over your country and they can start plotting against you so yep. bear that in mind that's exactly why you should kill them all all oh, right. right our infamous Dino is saying that he's a lunatic already. Oh, what is happening? I mean, him or his character? I think I think Ptolemy is a uh -huh. lunatic. Okay, Let's so check if, that we, out. if we check his nation oh, overview, oh, poor Ptolemy! So Egypt, Egypt's run by uh, this old guy Ptolemy Sotolaid. Yeah, the Basilius of Egypt. Eh? I, I think a, if you click on his what portrait. a madman! Here we go. There right, we so go. he's got some good blood flowing through him. Yeah, cautious. I can't blame him. I mean, this this is the D note we're talking about here. Yeah, for sure, he's cautious. Kindly, how very nice, but a lunatic. Oh yeah, cray cray. 
So uh, he is, in no uncertain terms, stark raving bonkers. Oh yeah, bonkers. That's heel. Uh, one one thing that we don't have before is we can't uh, get the outline of who's at war. I always find that uh, quite ah, handy. Yes. So I might I might go up and say that this is unacceptable. We were observing and couldn't find the carnage oh, my, as fast my. as we could. And I'm sure Daniel will be a bit sad that we missed out here because he did he not grow a bit here? I, I don't remember. A wee him having bit, all, I think, all of to that. the west. If I so does that mean correct? he's going to clash with the Bosphoran kingdom? Because oh, yeah. here's the Grug, right? The Grug. He's he's expanded a fair bit. I remember there was a country here. Yeah. Um, will these two come to clash? Because when it comes down to it, the Bosphoran oh, kingdom. Oh my! Speaking have... of expansion, you should take a look at Macedon. Macedon. Oh, I think you call it Massive Don. Oh right? yeah. They're they're making their way across, and uh, big oof right there. It it was not Byzantium there. We have uh, Byzantion right uh, right there sitting in not yet the city of the whole world's desire, but I'm know. sure it'll, I'm sure it'll get there. Probably. And Epirus has grown quite a bit. Oh yeah, my so god, it, goblin, goblin, I think goblin uh, Epirus are getting pretty long whilst Macedonia mm -hmm, are trying mm -hmm. to get a bit more thick. Also, Rome of... Whew, they've decided north was fine, but let's get some south as well. Simonites are yeah. out. There we go. Boom. Nothing more. So That's a he's, great he's growth from Kaiser Yoa. certainly Yoan. working to unify that uh, that Italy, but Carthage doing much and such is same. growing very fast too. Yeah. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Of course, people should keep an eye on the old aggressive expansion here, yeah. right? Uh, it's uh, it's not quite like uh, AE that you would know from EU4. This this aggressive expansion has impacts within and without the country. It is a here. bit different, and you don't want to have your population angry against you, or else you'll face a civil yeah, war. Uh, so, funnily enough, be careful uh, about that. You know, you you have people that uh, still need to give you some backing here, as we can see factions in the Senate. Indeed. And you'll you'll want them giving you the thumbs up if you if you're a bit I mean too... it depends because you sometimes you want to keep the same faction in power. Sometimes it's better to go with militaristic. I for one and as you can see Kaiser Yuan went clearly to replace the first leader which was uh, the first leader when you start with Rome is from the civic, civic faction. faction but and uh, there we go ever reflecting on the yeah. man himself the military faction seems I mean, to have quite a lot of support yeah so I think Kaiser Yuan is going doing the right move and trying to consolidate his power and stay within the realm of like having making sure you have that military mm -hmm. faction in power so that's pretty cool I wanted to jump back to Britannia for oh, a Dubonia moment because it's grown the, a bit too. Yeah, Dubonia has decided that they want to dabble in a bit of Welsh, mm. right? And I'm a bit on the fence there, but yeah. I've had some good things out of Wales. Uh, but he's he's going both sides here. Looks like Asinia and oh, oh, oh wow, oh. peace, peace in their time. Dubonia has oh. decided to draw a line through Britannia and say that that is theirs. And All I'm... the while, uh, their friends to the north yeah. over in Brigantia seem to be under a bit of pressure in this war. I mean, they need to be I'm very, seeing hostile troops, I'm seeing very low manpower. Ooh. The money's going down, it's not going up. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Uh, could it be? I mean, what is causing this clash here? It's uh, the north. Oh, and here I was saying, you know, the Scots aren't all that much, but <laughs> there uh, they, they brought the numbers here, mm -hmm. and it seems to be causing some trouble for the Black Ninja here. Yes. Uh, I got that right, right? We're playing. You did. Yeah, you did. wow. I'm I gonna... mean, Sir Rogers needs to be careful. It's the first time Death Clash. Mm. I, well, I heard talks that he would perhaps attack his fellow British countrymen up to the north. So, I mean. Uh, the time is ripe if he wanted to, I think. If but he, he, to he would be showing his colors. Also, be very careful to the aggressive expansion because that is. Fast expansion, way too fast. So perhaps, Ooh, perhaps. and we have a OS. Oh, well, we got some. Uh, we got him out, out of sinky stuff. Yep. Then, so good old uh, Bjorn is out of the game, unfortunately. Uh, I'm sure that uh, the Swedes can take care of themselves. F for Bjorn. Ugh. Bjorn B. Oh boy, he must be very disappointed. I hope he will not rage too much. So the, so the Suonians and the uh, the Rugians up oh, here. Yeah. It's all dotted about with cultures, but uh, I know one man who would just use one term for them all. Barbarians. Oh, it looks like Armenia is out of sync too. Armenia? Is Armenia. Well, possible? Armenia has made uh, quite the borders here, so they, they seem in an alright place. Should we place. check the player map and make we sure? Can, we can check. We can check who's yeah. in. Yeah, ah. sidestep is out. I think. Yeah. What is happening indeed? Ooh. Right, the Carlberg, right? He's, he's on the rampage. What Oof. do we have here? 
Uh, he's looking at his neighbors and he doesn't like what he sees, so he's going to take it over and. Has he struck an alliance with Ozismia? <laughs> I, I heard Azizmia. Oh, and I, I, I like I like oh. that. Like. The, okay. And Ozismia is being played by our dear old French paradox currently. Yeah. So, yeah. So, decided to go for. You know, I, I still see this as Brittany. Even the pattern looks kind of uh, Breton there. So what what are they up to? Are they just going to uh, split the land between yes, them? I would yeah, assume I think as that's much. What they're gonna do? Who's indeed. gonna form France? That's that's what I want to know. Treveria is currently carpet sieging to the east. Saxonia, there it is, Saxonia. Oh mm -hmm. yo! Oh, oh well, you they, they, sneaky, they, sneaky. They, game they, they don't they don't look so hot there. They being. Uh, oh wow, ah, Moriden. That wasn't Moriden. That Who's wasn't. Going? Who's going by the name Moriden? I assume it is Johan because he was supposed to play Saxonia, so I guess he had we, to We have a cheat in. sheet of who is who. Yeah, and but I'm Johan going... was playing as Johan. Mm. Oh well, he is playing as Moriden. Mm. Well, there you go. Uh, what of India though, right? Okay, I think we see some aggression here from Sri Ooh, Lanka. Somebody is telling me that if we want to have fun, we should come and see Dubonia reject all my white peace offers like... A nasty person. <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord. Okay, I, I gotta oh. see this. So we've been summoned over to Britannia <laughs> because there seems to be even a bit of a falling out between Debonia and I think Black Bla Ninja is being attacked. Yeah, salty. Briganti is having a bit of not fun here. Uh, apparently he's offering white peace. But uh, the Debonians are going, well, why, why would I have white peace when I can have a piece of that? And it is his first death clash. I'm quite surprised. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. Uh, so Debonia, well. And <laughs> in all fairness, Black Ninja is telling me they started it. Just they saying. They started it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just, uh, oh, well, if, if you say so. If you say so. Yeah, the, the you had it coming, Brigantian Matthew. War. You had it coming. Mm -hmm. Take Brigantia. Oh the war's I think they will. Oh I wonder if they'll spare uh, Ulushia or not. Because ah. Ulushia has made their their toehold into North Britannia. I mean, can you trust them? I wish. Okay, but they're still they're still in all them wars. So it doesn't, doesn't look too great from their point no. of view. But man, no. Debonia made that count. Oh boy. And they're, they're still going at it. Trying What's to their aggressive it. expansion? Uh, so for Debonia, it's Ooh. really high. Ooh, so the wrong cultured people will be not happy. If they have any subject states, they're going to be super unhappy. Oh yeah. Uh, do do they though? That's uh, that's my question though. Don't think so. They do, they got some alliances, but no uh, no subjects there. But Ooh, yes, yeah. if we head back over to I'll never forget the name. I just say Sri Lanka. It's uh, Andhra uh, Napura. Andhra Napura. They something like that. They're in a bit of a big war here. It looks, and there's an oof. there's going to be a clash very soon between them. Big oof. Uh, you're being led by Mustavzia, who's great got great martial, oh, but significantly wow. outnumbered by somebody with even better martial. But they got reinforcements. Yes. In. Both sides can the come Pandya on, Empire come out on top. Yes, they can. They can. They can. But it's oh, I'm Ooh. not sure. Coming down to it, but no, I think no, Stacey's yes, got this one. No, yes, the morale is holding. Come on, Stacey, yeah. there we the go. The line has held, right? Nan Nan Pandia has been sent rocking. Good. Nice. Good. Elephants, need them in every game. Okay, all all well and good if they can polish up this... Uh... It looks like that... It looks like Stacey has mm -hmm. uh, struck an alliance okay. with Chola, actually. Yeah, it looks like Chola has a bit of a problem in the north, though. I don't know who yeah. did these occupations. Um, but overall, right, it's not just the Pandyas, though. We've got uh, Saitya Puta, who's around here as well. And more more conflict, but there we go. There is victory to be had in these. And Black Ninja is currently saying, I'm not saying I'm salty, but I am. I'm <laughs> <laughs> yes. getting all excited about war elephants. Now, now not so much. It looks like... Uh, Black... I, ju I just got the message the gods are smiling on us as I cl uh, click on Dubania. And yes, it's, perhaps It's they actually are. two players that are out. May I say that Sir Rogers, it's his first death clash. And he just... Double kill! Yeah, double kill right there. Black Ninja is out. And also CB is out. Mm -hmm. Damn, that Dubonia looks very, very meaty. Yeah, man. Two, two on one and Dubonia came out on top. That oh, was some... Wow. 
top tier play there. And I mean, uh, pound for pound, how many how many pops are there even uh, there? They got 269. This is not the most populated of areas yeah, that's right very now, true. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but still, he takes it, he can foster that growth, and there is a bit of a concentration around good old Londinium here. Still mostly tribal though, right? It, it's certainly got nothing on uh, the big Italian city. Okay, Rome might be a bit of an outlier, but you know, even around Venetio, you're looking at uh, 15 plus in, mm -hmm. a, uh, in a province. Or yeah, city, yeah. rather. I'm going to get provinces and cities. Oh, uh, come on. Buckled up. Come for, on, uh... Sir Rogers. Don't say that you're sorry. <laughs> you wanted these provinces. You wanted them day one. And boom. There you are. Well, you managed to get them, right? So, does that mean that's our first PvP kill? Yes. And it was a double kill? Yes. That's why I'm so happy to be back in this seat, right? Ah, oh, it feels so Witnessing good. Witnessing the carnage. I think we had an uh, you, interesting you had a lot of in you, were, you were about to watch Cartage, but we can go back there later. Oh, I think I saw it. There we go, another... Pop. Oh, Pop's died. Oh, poor Pop. What a pity. Oh, well. That sound, sounds, uh, pretty... Sounds pretty hectic over there. Still more battles waging on. But uh, I think these are the small. Oh, man, I love those fights. Oh, I love wow. watching those fights. Uh, this is good. Still, I think it's chump change those battles in the grand scheme thing because peace has been declared. Oh, and what has happened? What happened indeed? Cola took a whole lot for themselves, but what did Stacy get? Anuradhapura, what's happening? Oh, I, I think we should probe at uh, the Hager Hink oh. and say, what's this all about? So it looks like, uh, and I'm going to be terrible with this name forever, Ananur, uh, uh, I'll just say Stacy or Sri Lanka. Uh, they've got a little, <laughs> they've got a little toehold in here with Vinny and, uh, oh, but it's all part of this province that Shola already has the bulk of. So I am, I am lost on what the significance of this is. Cool question. I think that we didn't tackle in our previous stream is the effect of tyranny. Aha, uh -huh, tyranny. Ah, well, here we go. It just so happens that Carthus has a touch of tyranny. There we go. Uh, so your province loyalty is going to go down with it, and also your subject state loyalty goes down. So you don't want a lot of uh, tyranny and aggressive expansion. Not a good Because your, your subject state's loyalty is just going way down. Now, whereas aggressive expansion makes people of the wrong culture unhappy, uh, tyranny just outright makes your citizens and freemans but unhappy. there is a few bonus to it. Of course there's a bonus to being course, tyrannical, right? Let, let me guess. I assume that these are good bonuses according to you. They're the best bonuses, right? Of frankly, course. frankly, I don't know why people would be discouraged from tyranny. If you have slaves, and why would you not have every slave under the sun, their output will be increased from your tyranny. You must serve. So uh, even with a touch of four tyranny, 4% 4 extra slave output for the Carthaginians. And remember, slaves mean cash. Well, well, well. I quite like cash. We have a little guest. Oh my, special guest speaker. Yeah, I'll sit down so I don't get my head cropped off in the... How's it going, Johan? Yeah, well, I started, I got a lot of moving down, all the Tarisha there, to the left of your cursor. Mm -hmm. There it's all Saxon. Okay. Uh, and up here was Saxon, Saxon. Saxon around there. Oh my, you're all over the yeah, place. Yeah, so I had shitloads of pops. I completely forgot to like realize that Pet there was also a, a tribal migration mm -hmm. country and he wanted that clay yeah. and he war decked me and he had elephants. Oh, he, ha he had traded <laughs> with, uh, with uh, Niels in Bohemia. So the, the Skynet. Skynet, he had two elephants and his ally, Tarisha, there, yeah. to the south, which is there, they also had two heavy cavalry ones. <laughs> so I had all my clans, which were basically, what do you call it? Here we go. My, my, my clans were like light infantry and chariots. <laughs> so so I like got it. slaughtered. I charged like 10,000 of my retinue, fighting them and getting killed, killed, killed. And said, so he attacked me up there in Saxonia there, <laughs> uh, because I, I, I raised him. Check the population map and you'll see how nicely populated uh, that one. There we go. Uh, so the Saxonians are... Mm. It's quite big. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I was trying to migrate east, mm -hmm. because my game plan was gather lots in Germany and move everyone east. Well, 
I didn't get it all that much, but I still have more pops now. I can move them down because mm -hmm. most of what I want to be my section was to be further east than that. Okay. Uh, wow. Because okay. You, you, oh, you're wow, looking wow. at the trade goods you there. Go it's the uh, iron and uh, horse archers. So if you swap to Saxo uh, if you Saxonia, you'll see that in theory, my armies are. Um, so cur currently, you got the light cavalry archers and your horse beloved archers. And yeah. so. Mm. so it's. Um, but uh, Daniel had a similar idea because he saw that he could get up here and get yeah. access to and, step uh, horses. So yeah. everyone's coming uh, step horses there, and oh. but they they are super good against uh, wrong one. Uh, they're super good against archers, which is what a lot of people will have yeah. uh, from the very start, because you know pretty much everybody but, gets those. But, but it's like I lost that war, not because of. Uh, me uh, uh, surrendering or anything because I had horse archers and I was going to dig down there in mm -hmm. the plains. He can come with his elephants. I would have like 8,000 horse archers to fight. But there was a crash uh, bug in the peace interface mm. where you lose a promise because he killed those by taking pops and basically sucking mm -hmm. them to oblivion. So I have no pops there. Uh -huh. So my in peace interface crashed. I fixed that bug now while waiting. <laughs> so And I couldn't <laughs> rejoin. And he, the AI took over and my country got... Oh, yeah. split up I'm a bit. I'm sorry, Jorn. <laughs> no, no worries. It's uh, it's the game. It's Petter we're talking about yeah, here, Petter. right? He goes for the win. Skynet, yeah. beware of Skynet. I mean, he's got these huge, it's like elephants. He got horses. He got a big... Look at that army. He got elephants in it. Is there yeah. way to see where he yeah, traded so, the elephants? Yeah, so we, we can click on here and see, like, how does he have elephants here? He's trading them with... Uh, Bisastis, Bis 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 somewhere in Africa. Uh -huh. Bis so he has enough of a diplomatic so, range to Ah, here them. we go, right? Your good friends over here in, in Carthage. Go, go to the diplomatic map mode and you'll see that he can reach it if you have Bohemia selected. Oh, yeah. Uh, he's trading quite a few. Yeah. Uh, Daniel as well. So there's... Uh, so you can project quite a bit of power just by having the trade goods and the yeah. trade routes yeah. available. And it's like, he couldn't he could afford that much uh, elephants, but two war elephants and some heavy cavalry of his allies, they destroyed the Saxon yeah. war host. <laughs> that naughty Gorion <laughs> charging himself. Charging into <laughs> an elephant so. with uh, with your chariot, though, it's just going <laughs> to stomp it flat. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. I thought you were going to attack Trevaria for a while when I saw you moving your pops. Uh... I'm, I'm too much of a nice guy. Uh, Ooh, Kush, Kush, Kush is growing. He, he wanted himself uh, a coast. Uh, sadly, sadly uninhabitable yet. But there's another coast he can grab if he goes up to uh, Blem. Blemia. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Blemia. Uh, Maka. Bit of a bad time from the uh, Seleucids. Seleucids falling apart, but... Yeah. Deciding Who to take a nibble Macca? out of Maka. Maka, that was Audio Mancer, but uh, yeah, he's dropped out. He, he That's is. fine. Nicholas Blondie is currently telling me that he found this city in Tana that has an abnormal amount of short people. What? What? Go to Tana. Wait, where? What is it? Tana? Yeah, T A N A. Tana. What? 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 I'm not sure what he's getting at here, but uh, short people. Is there a joke I'm not getting? Quite possibly. Wow. Maybe something about Guarnia. He, he will have to elaborate. Sebastian Katz saying that he is now getting to tech level two. Yeah, so he's been gloating about his tech a fair bit. And to, to his credit, I think Ooh. he is storming ahead with it. Oh, yeah. Is that... And where's Egypt? Uh, if we look at Egypto... Whoa. Yeah, they're ahead of Egypt. Oh, yeah, okay. And I mean, things, Egypt, uh, get oodles of research points, but it also costs more for Egypt because yep. their their number of pops is but it, ridiculous. But it's a, it's a percentage that's important. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a lot of pops to throw at any problem. I mean, yeah. compare that with Epirus, who are what, like, not even a tenth of that. Ooh, and I still... think, think the poll is going to come out soon for the best warmonger of the first session, mm -hmm. so that's pretty, pretty... I mean, Kaiser has done a tremendous job at expanding within the first two hours of the game. Ha, ha, yeah, but we said warmonger, not yeah, expander. Yeah, I mean... True, it, very it's like, true. Where's the which player, player he, He's like, he's got a tiny little player next it's, to him, it's and he's not even attacked him. Right. Yeah, yeah, Trintragula, of course, will uh, make yep. it all come together once he's thrown off the shackles of the Seleucids. Yeah. Although yes. they're, they're still run into into a bit of a problem. Yeah. Oh because, man, even more populated ooh, yeah. than, uh, than Egypt. Though. Have you seen Bactria? They have a population that make makes the rest of the West look. Uh, Damn. 
It Damn doesn't look like it would have huge pop, but uh, it, it really does. We check it out here. Okay, hugely uh, concentrated here in Bactra. Look at that. That would make Rome cry, right? Yeah, and oh. sadly most Sarastians. So. I'm not sure mm. Kaiser would cry over that, to be honest. Ah, well, Bactra, Bactra still... Oh, hold on. Bactra involved in a big war. Yeah. Oh, they're, oh. they're actually at war with the Seleucids now. Well, yes, they, it's, their, it's actually their war of independence, yeah. Lavender is just saying. So, uh, yeah. So... Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, hello. Here, oh, here comes hey. another sad person. Yes. No, I survived. Yeah, you did survive, they did. actually. They didn't take anything. <laughs> Meanwhile, Mas yeah, I, Macedon's I, I, I going for it. <laughs> Macedon seeing uh, Phrygia falling apart and saying, that's all mine now. Oof. That's yeah, a yeah, lot geez, of potential land to take over. That's true. Yeah. Uh, this is, uh, <laughs> uh, this it's gonna be, we're well. going to have like four major powers in the Mediterranean accession with Macedon, Egypt, Rome and Carthage. Ooh, get that marble, that yeah, wine. Pray that if that whole thing happens Don't. right on the other side of the Adriatic. Right <laughs> <around>. <laughs> just everyone, look east, look east. Yes. Oh, yeah. no, 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 He's just fine. East. It's, it's, yeah. No, oh, oh, here he comes. And we have Sir Rogers coming yes. in. Oh. The war yes! Yes! The, the prize, I'll oh, bring, uh, oh. bring up the poll again, yeah. right? The ultimate hey, warmonger. Have you seen the poll? <laughs> Uh, yeah, you have been voted. Seventy-four percent. I, I thought it was high. quite peaceful. But <laughs> yeah, yes, <yeah>, real. <laughs> yeah, you're the defeating the, the fan favorite number one in the Kaiser. Yeah, solidly. Oh yeah, Skynet is getting. Uh, yeah, a bit bit more love for the Skynet. I mean, that's oh, understandable. No. He destroyed my country. Wait, wait, <laughs> what? What does? What does Chet say? The betrayer? No, no, he's no. The, <laughs> he is the betrayer. Britannia. The betrayer. So how, how have things been going for the Bonia, you know, other than all the, the conquering? Uh, well, actually, I believe in bringing prosperous future to the people of Britannia. With you know, death and murder. Might, no, no. You yeah, have a better future. You have barbarians invading you from the north. I, oh. My one consolation that I had was Niall was like, oh, well, I'm sure, you know, oh, well, all the different crap. culture the pops will mess up. I was like, no, they're all the same culture. <laughs> Huh, I should probably take care of the barbs. Oh, well, right? We have too. Blondie coming in. Hey! Is that the greatest newcomer from so the previous Dev yeah, Clash. So can you explain the joke about the short people? Yeah, well, well that was look, very confusing. Look at that uh, city in, uh, south of Axum. What is the name of that city? Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't hit yourself on the TV. Yeah, don't break everything. <laughs> That's just it. Oh, yeah. Let's check out uh, India. We're gonna make sure we don't run over. Oh yeah, Stacy with the UI problems. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What happened, Stacy? UX problems. <laughs> I, like I don't know what you're talking about. Look, I, I have like, uh, <laughs> exactly the land I was going for. Oh yeah. yeah. How yeah, many tries did it take to? You didn't have that? that land, right? No, I haven't. Look, there there was one war that may or may not have ended with some confusion in the negotiations. <laughs> <laughs> However, yeah. we recovered quickly. <laughs> Wow. Oh well. Hey, all right, hey. Rome. You you yep. did better than I expected. Yeah, it's really? going fine. Uh, I, um, I guess the expansion to burn off. Rome expansion for the next four really years. Well. <laughs> <laughs> How much? Wait, has, for, forty-four aggressive expansion uh, at minus a point twelve has a month. Boy lost territory already. <laughs> yes. Rome stole some of the land. No, boy no, 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 had no. access to the. Hampus, where's boy? Going where is boy? What happened? Uh, well, the boy has expanded a bit. Unfortunately, we're dealing with some civil wars at the moment, so that <laughs> might be slowing us down. But the boy just can't keep it together. I think the alliance of the boys, the Bohemian the boy alliance, is fine. <laughs> Good to know. Oh, really? It's still buoyant. Oh. No. Oh. Oh. Good one. Yep. Yeah. I had fun as Vandalia. Oh. Turns out I didn't know what I was doing because I work in EU Fort. <laughs> wow! <laughs> what? That's what? like the closest one. No, 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 no. But the great trick is, it turns out there's these things called boats, and oh. and if wow. everybody around you teams up on you, and you have these things called boats, they can't attack your islands. So the only way I survived was I didn't build an army. I just built more boats than my neighbors. Oh, it's just the original wooden <laughs> build boats. Yeah, no, it's yeah. great. Navy nation, I like mm. it. It's strong Perfect. stuff. All right, well, that's all we have time for today. Yes. Thank you for watching. Thank you all for playing. We will be back same time, next same week. channel, next week. Very all right, sure. goodbye. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Bye.